Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 29th, 2017. Reviewing some information this morning from the Solar Dynamic Observatory website. It is now showing one coronal hole facing the Earth. However, in a few days, we are going to be facing a very massive coronal hole. It is now forming and it will be turning towards the Earth in a matter of days. We're going to go ahead and just take a look directly at what is happening with the sun. As you can see to the right where my cursor is, this is the coronal hole that is now passing in front of the Earth. In a few days, moving over to the left, you can clearly see that there is a very large angular shaped coronal hole that will be turning towards the Earth. Now, folks, I've gone over this information with you many, many times when reviewing the information from the SDO, the Solar Dynamic Observatory. And the reason, once again, why I'm showing you this information is because these large coronal holes are directly attributed to applying a lot of pressure to the Earth, therefore creating substantial earthquakes. Now, over the past 14 days, once again, the frequency and the magnitude of these earthquakes has been increasing. We've gone from mid-level magnitude 2.5 to 3. Now we're moving past magnitude 4, 4.5 into magnitude 5. And hopefully we don't see anything above that. However, when a coronal hole of this magnitude turns towards Earth, the solar winds will increase to approximately 1.5 million miles per hour. The Earth will be saturated with the solar winds. The protons do make it all the way to the Earth's core, penetrating, heating up the Earth's core, and creating very severe internal pressure, therefore disturbing our tectonic plates and creating earthquakes. And speaking of earthquakes, we have the Earthquake 3D tracker up here in the upper right hand corner. And taking a look at some of the earthquake activity over the past 24 hours, and we can do that right now, you can clearly see once again all of these larger orange circles. Magnitude 4.7, 4.7, 4.9, 5.3, 4.7, magnitude 5, 4.8, 4.2, 4.7. So you can see that obviously there is a very consistent pattern when these coronal holes turn towards our planet. If you take a look over here at the state of California, and Nevada is now being included. The earthquakes, they do have a pattern. What I'm worried about is this pattern right here. You can see my cursor. Uh, that is directly on the San Andreas Fault. Moving up towards the area of Alaska, you can clearly see a very strong pattern of earthquake activity. Magnitude 3, 2.7, 2.9. We have a small earthquake here again in Oklahoma, which is a 2.6. Now, not all of the earthquake data is on this map. Later on this morning, I will have a complete in-depth earthquake report on what is happening around the world. Now, oh, we have an earthquake happening right now. Now, I've been monitoring these earthquakes through the Discovery Volcano application on my cell phone. It gives me minute-by-minute -minute updates on these earthquakes. And I've noticed over the past two weeks that the notifications just don't stop. I have them set at a magnitude 2.5 and above, and they just keep going off every few minutes. So this is what is happening around the globe. And what you're seeing right now on your screen 
is simply the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. And I mean, once again, folks, you can you can take a look at this. You can see what is happening in the state of California. I will have to decrease this more and more. And that's all I can decrease it. But you can see the stack of earthquakes listed right here for the state of California. And this goes on and on across the entire globe. So if you do live in any type of an earthquake area, anywhere around this world, like I have mentioned before, make sure that you have some type of preparedness plan. Make sure that you have some way of being notified of these earthquakes. It's very vital, very important. I will leave a link to the Discovery Volcano website where you can obtain this app for your cell phone. But what I did wanted to show you here very quickly is some of the information that we use for getting information every single day about our sun is now being taken away. Now, this is for the U.S. Naval Observatory, SETI website. And here we go to this website to view a lot of information with our magnetosphere, information about our sun. And as you can see up here where my cursor is, it says not secure. Now, we can get into this website, but this is letting you know that they have not updated their security certificate. So therefore, you will get this information. Now, 48 hours ago, the whole entire magnetosphere information that we depend on was taken away. So therefore, we cannot access this information unless you are sitting at a desk at NASA or the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. So what is that telling you? They are trying to censor the data that should be available for anyone. And once again, this shouldn't be happening. This website has been like this now for over a month. Over a month. So we will be watching very, very closely all of the information, as much information as we can get from our son. Heed the warning that if you do live in an earthquake prone area, make sure you have your preparedness plan in place. Thank you for watching the Nibiru channel.